What's going on everybody? Pollo here. Uh, we're coming to you from the Tamarack Snow Park up here outside of Shaver Lake, California. I got a request the other day from a guy trying to find the easy way up to the top of Bald Mountain. So our goal today is to find that route, map it out, and share the GPX file with everybody. Let's get going. trip starts here at Tamarack Snow Park. From there you get on Rock Creek Road, also known as Forest Service Road 09S02. Stay on Rock Creek Road for about three miles. Rock Creek Road is pretty well maintained. No vehicle should have a problem with this. Make a right turn on 09S02, also known as Bowtie Trail. Bowtie starts off pretty easy. Uh, it looks like there used to be some form of blacktop surface there that's never been repaired. Uh, after that, it turns into a lot of dirt and sand. I would be confident in doing this in any four-wheel drive, most all-wheel drives. Really nothing much to write home about here. It's pretty simple. Let's get a little further up the trail. It's a lot of the same. You just keep going. Really easy. I know it's easy for me to say that this trail is easy sitting on 35 inch tires and 3 inch lifts and everything else that I have, but honestly this trail is very easy. After staying on bow tie for a while, you'll come to a split in the trail. You'll notice an orange sign with an arrow on it uh, pointing to the right. Make sure you take that right. This will put you onto the tower trail that will actually take you up to the top of Bald Mountain. After turning off, the trail does get a tiny bit more difficult with some off camber, maybe some steps, but it's nothing too crazy. Most four wheel drives would handle this, no problem. Stickers, thorns, and vines. Now here's where I had to finally put my truck into four low. The reason for that is, is my Land Cruiser is really heavy, it's sitting on way oversized tires, and I have never re-geared. So, Moving down to four low really helps me with these steeper, longer climbs. It was not to get over any obstacle at all. And after reviewing the maps after I did this trail, I think I should have taken a right back there, which would have kept me on an easier trail, because as you'll see when we get up to the top right here, you come to an obstacle. Now there's a crevice that runs all the way across the top of these rocks that you can see the drag marks on it. I'm not going to try it even with my gear. But if you go to the right of this tree, um, there's a pretty easy way down. Uh, we'll show that to you now. Um, there's also ways around this. 
uh, but they are all blocked off with caution tape. I'm not one to go off trail up here. I think it's important to utilize the trails as marked so that we can continue to enjoy the outdoors and the off-roading lifestyle. What you find when you're on your own Is the drive to get back home After getting past that obstacle, you just follow the trail to the top of Bald Mountain. Make sure to watch your wheel placement as it can get a little tricky. The top of Bald Mountain offers amazing views of Shaver Lake and the Central Valley on a clear day. Um, at the top there's an old fire lookout tower that's been refurbished. It's a great way to get a little extra height and check out the surroundings. Make sure to take an opportunity to enjoy the view, grab a bite to eat, hang out for a little bit. Uh, this will bring us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. And remember to check out the GPX files below. It'll really help you out when you're looking and doing this trail. Thanks. All right, so we made it up to Bald Mountain. I think on the way back, we're gonna take a different route. I'll uh, be sure to highlight that one too. Out.